fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the DX Chain Array and Claw Raise Buckle set from Common Rider Geats. So this is our newest DX Raise Buckle set here. You can see we have both of them featured very prominently on the package. And then we have Geats using Claw and Tycoon using Chain Array, even though I don't think we've seen either of them use these in the show so far. Uh, it just shows both of them attached to the Desire Driver on top. Not really much going on on the bottom. Just kind of have the name over here on this side. And over here, again, we're just seeing the two raised buckles spinning it around to the back. Shows them with boost, which of course we'll take a look at. So pretty standard packaging for these. I'm going to go ahead, get them both out of the box, and we'll take a closer look. So here are the two raised buckles out of the packaging. Chain Array is a bright orange color, and Claw is a fluorescent yellow. So we'll take a look at Chain Array first. You can see it has the giant spiked ball on the chain here. Spinning it around to the back, there's the QR code. And then here is the rail system, and this is number 10, we can see right there. Uh, to activate this, you just pull this uh, piece back here like this. And then for claw, here is the back, we have the QR code, and this is number 9. To activate this, you slide this little piece back here, which will slide the claws back, and then they spring forward. So pretty much all they do on their own, but let's go ahead, let's bring in the Desire Driver. We'll start first with Claw. So there you go. Next up we'll bring in Chain Array. And now we'll do the two together. So there you go, pretty fun. I like the lights and sounds. We'll go ahead and bring in some other buckles to try them out. So first up we'll try Chain Array with Boost since we saw that on the packaging. Chain Array! Ready? 
Next up, we'll try Boost with Claw. So at this point with the collection of raised buckles we have, it would take way too long to go through all the different combinations, but I did just want to do a couple of random pairings for fun. And of course we have to try them out with the Magnum Shooter 40X, so we'll start here with Claw. Next up, Chain Array. Tactical Blast. 
I think this is a really fun set. Aesthetically, I really like the design of both of these. Uh, really bright, fun colors as well. I really like the way when you pull this back, it kind of draws the claws back in and then they spring load back out again. I think that's really fun. Uh, claws, probably my favorite out of the two. That's not the put down chain array. It's just kind of the giant spike ball. And I know there's not really a great way to show the chain. I'm assuming this is just kind of a little length of chain. I think it works, uh, but I just think claw works a little bit better. I like the way that the claws rescind like that. Um, again, great set, really nice and affordable too. I think it was like $8 before shipping. So these things tend to be around $5 a piece for the smaller ones, which I think is totally reasonable. Uh, great sounds in the desire driver. I love the way that the gun can actually read them. The light matches the color of the buckle. I think that's really cool. So I love the playability with that as well. So I definitely recommend adding them to your collection. The one thing is that these are going to also be available in both the second wave for the Candy Toy and Gashapon buckles. So technically you don't need to buy this specific DX set. I definitely recommend getting some version of these buckles, but the DX, the Candy Toy, and the Gashapon are all pretty much the same. They're functionally very much the same, and aesthetically I don't really think they're much different either. I think honestly the only difference would be the number etched into the rail system might have like a C in front of it or something like that. I think that's really the only difference. Maybe the QR code is slightly different. I don't know. Uh, but honestly, like I said, you might not have to pick up this DX set if you know you're going to get a full set of either the Candy Toy or Gash Ponds for Wave 2 because these are going to be in both of them, which I think is kind of a weird way to do it. They did the same thing with Hammer and Water as well. Um, I kind of just wish they wouldn't repeat them so many times because I really don't need super duplicates. And if I'm not buying sets, it makes it much harder to track down the individual buckles that I want. So it's kind of a pain in that regard. Uh, but regardless, definitely get yourself a set of these, whether you decide to go with the Gashapon, the Candy Toy, or this DX set. I definitely think Chain Array and Claw are really fun buckles and definitely worth adding to the collection. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.